topic for today is pain in the neck, okay? Very common. Common causes of pain in the neck involve weak postural muscles, uh, poor rhythm of the scapula and the shoulder, which people don't usually associate with neck pain, but it's very common that this causes neck pain. Too much activity, um, child care, work, sport, recreational activity, either doing too much or not doing enough. Another common cause is sleeping positions. Um, the type of pillows that we use, the comforters, um, there are all types of gimmicks and products that are out there um, that support your neck and have different foam. And, however, they may not be correct for your particular neck and they may not be appropriate for your injury. Symptoms and its impact. Common symptoms of neck pain is obviously pain in the neck, stiffness, inability to turn your head, also shoulder issues. Inability to use your shoulder is sometimes related to neck issues and posture. Headaches and dizziness. A lot of people don't associate their headaches and dizziness with neck tension and neck tension headaches, as well as um, all the compression around the nerves that are in the cervical spine that may actually be causing some issues that may not necessarily be causing neck pain, but are definitely neck issues. So this is a picture of the muscles in your neck. You're looking at yourself from behind. So this is the back of your head right here. This black line is the base of your skull. And then these are the muscles in your neck. So all of the muscles in your neck originate from that spot at the base of your skull. And they run to the vertebrae in your neck. They run alongside the vertebrae in your neck or they run alongside the vertebrae in your neck to your shoulder blade. So when we're talking about all of that muscle tension, when those muscles get tight, they shorten and they close that space in between the vertebrae. So this space gets closed down as those muscles pull inward. That's what creates that long-term, that pressure on the disc, that pressure on the nerve, and starts to make the problem get worse. But it all starts with that muscle tension. All of those muscles originate from the base of your skull. When those muscles get tight, they pull down, and that's what causes that headache that you feel. And then that pressure down is what starts to create the potential for that crick in your neck, the radiating pain down your arm, and all of those symptoms that get worse. PT can also help in the sense of giving you a thorough evaluation and really determining what your specific problems are and see if it's actually musculature, discs, um, anatomical, or even if it's any type of bone related issue. Call or click the link below if you're having any of the issues or symptoms that we talked about today.